relay and keep it 100 like Usain Bolt. Speaking of race, we all have a body, spirit, and soul. And we'll have to stand before God if we want that goal. There's more than just white sheep in my God sheep fold. And I ain't crying wolf, no matter what you've been told. I was shown to love my brother since I was three days old. They paint the scene, but the fight ain't what it seems. I see Martin Luther King was speaking only flesh, but he said he had a dream. The devil's scheme has a team, and it seems that he's always been a fiend of the same thing. Lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and that pride to everything. So if I get high minded and don't abide in the vine of Zion, then I should be reminded that my kind has been blinded and rewinded to a time of a kindness while their sides intertwined in a lifetime of crime confined like a tribe. Alright, guys. Went ahead with the oil pan on. This is the next day. We just had that hurricane. We got out skirts up yesterday and it was humid and wet in here. But got the oil pan on. Um, it just goes on back the same way. It come, come off. Uh, cleaned everything up with brake clean. Cleaned the oil pan out real good. And uh, I did put the gasket that was on the tractor still was in great shape. But I went ahead and cleaned it and put black uh, high temp RTV sealant gas gasket maker on it. And so that should be good to go. Uh, now I'm going to be putting the oil filter in and uh, I'll give you the part number on that as well. The part number on it, L as in Leroy, L as in frog, dash six, seven, two. And that's what it looks like right there. And you have a hole on both sides with a little bit of a lip. It just goes down, it just goes straight down. You'll see there's a hole in the bottom down here that this fits in perfectly. All right, and it did come with a new gasket. I didn't realize that. I was cleaning the other one up and then saw that it had a gasket in the pack. All right, went ahead and cleaned the top off right here. And we will get this lined up. Like so, let's see here. I know that's the way it's supposed to go, not that way. All right, let's put this on here. Make sure it looks right. All right, and next, your bolt. This bolt has a hole right here, and it's opened up to the inside here. I cleaned it out really, really good. Um, just, I don't know exactly why it's there. Uh, some of y'all experts on farm oil cups probably know exactly what it is. But I mean, I know oil goes through it at some point. But let's go ahead and put this down in here. And it is uh, three quarters ratchet. We're going to go ahead and start tightening this down. And my head gasket and exhaust seals and all that sh gasket should be in today. It says it's out for delivery. But y'all know how the United States Postal Service works. It can say out for delivery and then not get delivered and show up four days later. All right, I'm gonna tighten this down. I'm not gonna go too tight with this because I don't want to damage the gasket. One more turn. That should be sufficient. All right, I'll be back with y'all whenever my head gaskets come in. Hopefully it'll be today. Ready to get this thing fired up. All right, appreciate it. All right, guys, we got our head gasket in. It did come in today, and this is it right here. Now I know it says this side out, right there. I don't know if you can see it cause it's so shiny. This side out. That goes out, faces up top. All right, I'm just going to do some, got some brake clean right here. And I'm just going to clean this up. Get all the oil off of it that might be on here. The manual service manual calls for 48 
feet pounds torque, which goes to 580 inch pounds. That's where I'm setting mine at. A bunch of websites and stuff differ from 45 to 65, some of them up to 82. I'm sticking with the recommended, which is going to be 580 inch pounds because that's the type of torque wrench I've got. All right, got my head real nice and clean. Let's set our head gasket on this side out. So it's going to go like so. Set our head on. You know, I think I'm going to take a wire wheel to this head on the top and just clean up. So later on, if I want to paint it, I can. I'll be right back. Set our head up here. Got all my bolts clean and ready to go too. Set it down to where. Alright. And the big bolts go back here. When I first getting that lined up, I like to go from one corner to the other. I'm doing head gaskets. All right. And of course, I'm just getting these finger tight. Should have one more long one. All right, I did go back and put oil on the tips of those bolts because I didn't want to uh, be torquing them dry. But, all right, let's get back to it. It says to torque is from the inside out in, a, in an X pattern. I'm just going to torque it We'll do this center one first. That. Now I'm gonna go to here. Then I'll go to here. Yeah. 
here. it's important to go around and double check all of them. Install new valve cover gasket while I'm at it. So let's get a, looks like it's going to be a half inch. I'm going to put my full wrench up. Unscrew this. this up and we'll yeah, yeah I'm glad I did now yeah that's and we'll scrape all this off I'll be back after that scrapes off and got this cleaned up and we'll install the unit all right guys we got her buffed up or cleaned up we got her clean enough that when I get paint in later on again I can I can hit it from the outside here I didn't adjust my valves or grind my valve seats because whenever I turn the crank over and, and the valves would seat I would manually turn them with my thumbs and they were you couldn't turn them and I also let liquid sit on top of them to see if it would drain out and none of them were draining any liquid out it was staying on top so they're still in really good so that's why I didn't do that on this on this video uh, but putting the cork gasket on here like so and we're going very gingerly. Slide this in here. Start over here. This might be the wrong way to do this. Like I said, this is my first time ever doing this on Fall Cup. Stick that there. Alright. It keeps wanting to fall down there and get stuck on that. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid that I am going to have to take this. Because that is too tight. Work with me. 
perfect. Did we get it? I think we got it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a pick. It looks good to me. It's covering the top. Covering the top and it's covering the bottom. Which, that looks good to me. Let me see if I can put a bolt in here. Okay. Okay. My OCD is going to mess with me. And no, it's covering on here. Yeah, I feel it. Let me get. I'm going to get my flashlight and look. Make sure it is. Not right there. I know, guys, y'all ain't able to see much. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Let's put our second bolt in. Too too tight where it bends your plate. That's good enough for me. Okay. Alright, that's on. Now I'm gonna come back with my wire wheel and clean up where the exhaust goes on. And uh I'll be back with you after I clean that up. All right, guys, got that cleaned up. After I install this, I want to do the rest off camera, putting the carburetor on, stuff like that. This video is getting pretty long, and I'm ready to get this done. But um, just put your gaskets on. goes backwards upside down <laughs> yep all right I didn't do much cleaning on the uh, exhaust and intake I clean clean the surface up on that though where it meets up because it's it's pretty far gone as far as the muffler goes from just years and years of rust okay I'm gonna put my nuts on And I cleaned the threads up really, really good on them bolts. And I cleaned the threads on the nut so they'll go on a whole lot easier. So we'll, we'll see if they go on easier. But that's it, it's just these, these four nuts. Oh yeah. Screwing on easy. This one's a little tight. They just barely give you enough room to put your finger in. Put your bottom on top of this. Please, baby. Screw all the way in there and just get you with the wrench. She's still going. Still 
still going. Still going. Yes, sir. All right. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna get these bolts tightened up, get my spark plugs in, uh, reconnect the um, antifreeze boot and all that for the coolant to go in. Then I'm gonna fill up with coolant and oil, and we'll do a test fire next time. I'm back with you. All right. Appreciate all right, guys. It. Got the carburetor on. Got everything buttoned up. Got me uh, just a temporary gas tank. And let's see here. His charger's hooked up still. Yeah, charger's hooked up. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm just gonna sit here and hold this. Make sure your tractor's not in gear. That's that's a big thing you need to check. And I'm gonna choke it. It's not in gear. Now, I took the spark plugs out and was turning this over manually uh, just to get the oil through the whole entire system. So, just wanted to let y'all know that that's something you're going to want to do. Uh, so, it just gets circulates and gets wherever it needs to go. All right, let's go and choke. Fingers crossed. Hope it don't smoke. see a small leak. do is let my tractor run I, now I did this morning come out after it said overnight and rechecked all the torque because you got to do that because it you know settles a little bit you're supposed to do it two hours after you put your head on and then 10 hours after that all right guys we're back been a couple days and man let me tell you something this this uh, head gasket, had, the one that was on, gave me so many problems. Um, this is my first time uh, doing uh, rings and gaskets and stuff on a four-cylinder engine on, you know, four-mile cub. Uh, do two two-cylinder stuff all day long, every day. Uh, but the gasket that I bought was supposed to be a good gasket, and it it was it it, it was good quality. Um, and it was at the same price range as all the other ones, uh, even through uh, the dealers for international harvester, harvesters and stuff like that, same price. But I guess it had a defect in it or something, but right along here, and it's probably on my last video I showed you, there was just a little bit of, is leaking amphrey, just, just a little bit, just like a pin hair. And I let it sit for two days and that pin hair leak didn't drip or nothing, it just stayed, it's just sitting on it and uh, of course me being me it, it bothered the crap out of me so i pulled the head back off clean everything up really really good put the head back on and let me get show you something 
and this is the original head that come off of here and those small slots in the top right there right here is where your antifreeze uh, runs through the block and through your head and these holes right here the bigger holes on these down here the smaller hole is for the bolt but anyways so i went in because that it's it's only antifreeze running through that this the rest of this has a lip right here that protects it from your combustion chamber so i went in on the other gasket and i put gasket sealant on here for antifreeze around all these just to and up here at top just a thin thin coat just to double double seal it you know give it a better seal because it just wasn't meshing right uh and my head didn't warped checked it everything's fine but got the new gasket in got the new gasket in and when i was putting it on one of my bolts broke but i, I mean i guess you know there's original bolts on it from 1953 and uh i was going i'll upload this picture for y'all a stagnant picture i'll just load that up for y'all this is uh your pattern in which you torque your bolts uh, but yeah torquing them like you're supposed to 15 foot increments and this bolt right here broke off so i had to pull the head off again and get the i got the bolt out of the block luckily um it come out really easy so i uh, went and bought brand new grade eight bolts put in there got all of it back together and she's not leaking and she's running good and i'm really really pleased with it but um sorry if this video has been spotty and uh the video quality might not be that good it's just, it's just me out here and uh it's hard to get uh certain camera angles uh with it's just me and trying to work on this type of stuff but yes yeah, she, she runs good we'll just throw it on the ground i'm gonna turn it on make sure everything's up and good give it some choke but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now it's, it's it's raining here at my house and about 30 degrees so and i don't want to open the doors up and let let this thing run for a while like it's all i, I don't want to open up doors and let on the heat out but anyways yeah she buttoned up good really pleased with it and that's it on this project i have a lot more things i'm gonna be doing to it like i said i've done replaced all the wires and belts and most of my hoses and stuff like that uh, next thing i'm going to do is probably drain the oil out of the hydraulic <coughs> lift and put new oil in that but that's <coughs> that doesn't need to be a video um, you put your oil in here on this where this big nut is right here and it drains on the other side i believe but anyways all right guys i've got to get back to my normal work uh had too much time on this thing i uh, wish i would have got the right head gasket the first time which i did but it must have had a, it must have had a defect in it um but anyways all right guys well i appreciate it and we'll see y'all later